Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss the definition of basic concepts used in geometry like line segment, angle, circle, parallel and perpendicular lines using notion of line, point, distance along a line and distance around circular arc. First of all let us discuss what is a point. Now a point is an undefined term. A point is a specific place in space and it has no length, width or depth. Now a point is represented by placing a dot on a paper and it is labeled by a single capital letter. Now here we can represent this point by capital letter A. Now we use a point to mark a location or position. Now suppose we have to represent the vertices of the triangle ABC. Now these vertices can be represented by point A, B and C. And now let us discuss what is a line. Now a line is a set of continuous points that extend indefinitely in either direction. Now the term line will mean a straight line and we know that a line is a set of continuous points that extend indefinitely in either direction. It means a line extends indefinitely in both directions. It does not have end points. And here arrows on both the sides show that this line extends indefinitely in both directions. And there are infinite points which lie on this line. And now let us discuss what is a line segment. Now we know that this is a line. Now let us take any two points A and B on this line. Now on this line the part AB is the line segment joining the two points A and B. So AB is a line segment and here A and B are called end points of this line segment AB. So line segment is a part of the straight line with two fixed end points. Now let us discuss parallel lines. Now parallel lines are lines in a plane which are always at a fixed distance apart and never meet. Now here you can see this diagram showing parallel lines L1 and L2 and here these arrowheads are used to show parallel lines and you can also see that there is a fixed distance between these two lines and the two lines L1 and L2 never meet. So we write L1 is parallel to L2. 
and parallel lines never intersect or meet at any point. Now let us discuss what is an angle. Now, whenever two lines or edges meet, an angle is formed. Now, an angle is formed by two arms. which meet at a point called vertex. Now let this angle be represented by theta. So here you can see that we have two arms which meet at vertex and angle theta is formed by the arms. Now angles can be right acute, obtuse, straight, reflex and revolution. And now let us discuss perpendicular lines. Now if the two lines meet at 90 degrees or intersect at 90 degrees then the lines are perpendicular in this diagram you can see that the lines L1 and L2 intersect each other at the point O making an angle of 90 degrees. So the lines are perpendicular to each other and we write that L1 is perpendicular to L2. Now perpendicular lines intersect at a point making a right angle. Now let us discuss what is a circle. Now a circle is a plain figure whose boundary that is circumference consists of points equidistant from the center. Now here this is the circle with center O and radius OA. Now let us discuss distance around a line. Now a line is made up of points that has no thickness or width and goes on forever and since line is endless so we cannot find the distance along the line thus distance along a line is not measurable because it goes on forever but we can measure distance between any two points on a line that is we can find length of line segment which can give us the distance between two points on line. Now in a coordinate plane, let x1, y1 and x2, y2 be any two points in plane given by a and B. Now let us join the points AB and here we get a line segment AB. Now we have to find distance between these two points or length of line segment AB. Now distance between the points A and B is given by square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. And this is called the distance formula to find distance between any two points. And Distance or length is always positive. 
Now let C be the midpoint of line segment AB. Now midpoint is the point which divides the given line segment into two equal segments. Here C divides the line segment AB into two equal segments AC and CB. Now we can find the coordinates of C by using midpoint formula. So by midpoint formula coordinates of C are x1 plus x2 the whole upon 2 and y1 plus y2 whole upon 2. Now suppose we have a point A with coordinates minus 1, 2 and point B with coordinates 5, 4. Now let us find distance of the line segment AD by using distance formula. Now let us represent coordinates of A by x1, y1 and coordinates of B by x2, y2. Now, by distance formula, distance AB is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now, putting the values of x1, y1, x2, y2 in this formula, this is equal to square root of 5 minus of minus 1 whole square plus 4 minus 2 whole square and this is equal to 5 minus of minus 1 is 5 plus 1 which is 6 and here it will be 6 square plus now 4 minus 2 is 2 so this will be 2 square and further this is equal to, now 6 square is 36 plus 2 square is 4. So this is equal to square root of 36 plus 4 which is equal to square root of 40. And this is equal to square root of 2 square into 10 which can be written as 2 root 10. So, length of line segment AB is equal to 2 root 10 units. Now, let us find the coordinates of midpoint C of this line segment AB. Now, coordinates of C will be equal to x1 plus x2 whole upon 2 and y1 plus y2 whole upon 2 which is equal to minus 1 plus 5 whole upon 2 and 2 plus 4 whole upon 2 and this is equal to now 5 minus 1 is 4 and 4 upon 2 is 2 and 4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 upon 2 is 3. So, coordinates of midpoint C are 2, 3. Now, let us discuss some more facts about circle. Now, suppose a point P is rotated at a particular angle, maybe 90 degrees or 45 degrees or 180 degrees, etc. in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. With respect to a particular or a fixed point O such that its distance OP from a fixed point that is the point O always remains same then the path formed will be a circular path. Now, using the distance formula, we can find the path described by a point which is 
at a constant distance from a fixed point when the point is rotated at a particular angle. Now suppose the fixed point is a region with coordinates 0, 0 and the moving point is this point with coordinates x, y and let the constant distance be r. Now using distance formula, let us find the distance OP. Now let us think this point as x1, y1 and this point as x2, y2. Now by distance formula, distance OP is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now, we know that distance OP is equal to R and here we will put the values of x1, y1 and x2, y2 and this implies R is equal to square root of x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square and this gives r is equal to square root of x square plus y square. Now squaring both sides we get r square is equal to x square plus y square or we can write it as x square plus y square is equal to r square and this equation is equation of circle with center having coordinates 0, 0 and radius r. Also we can say that this is the equation of a circular path that is this circular path. Now instead of origin we can have any other point as center say a center with coordinates h, k then also we can find the equation of circular path using the distance formula then equation of circular path will be x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square so in this session we have learned definition of circle, angle, line segment, parallel and perpendicular lines using notion of point, line and distance along a line. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.